The Roads to Carbon Neutral, presented by Total Energies. Could renewable energy power the world by 2050 and help secure a net zero future? Energy is considered renewable when it comes from natural sources or processes that are limitless. It includes hydropower, wind, solar, biomass, geothermal and tidal. Currently, our energy demands are mostly met by fossil fuels and one of the key solutions to help achieve a net zero future is to transition to an energy mix which relies predominantly on renewable energy. Moving to an efficient and renewable-based system is the only possibility to address climate change. On the one side, it's about reducing the energy demand. On the other side, it's about ramping up renewable energy capacities. In 2020 alone, renewable energy rose by approximately 7%, with wind and solar accounting for 60% of this increase. However, renewables currently only account for approximately 11% of our global energy. People are going, well, we've had this renewable revolution, we're having all this new renewable energy. Yes, but actually all that is doing is feeding our increased demand. Human societies are hungry for energy and they demand more and more every year. So that increase is being taken up by renewables, but the baseload, that 80% from fossil fuels, has not changed. The IEA estimates that annual clean energy investment worldwide will need to more than triple by 2030 to achieve net zero emissions by 2050. The good news is that costs of renewables has plummeted in recent years. The price of solar power has fallen by over 80% since 2010, while the cost of offshore wind has more than halved within the last five years. There are now enough solar panels installed to meet the electricity demand of nearly every European country combined. Total Energies believes that by 2050, renewable energies will account for between 60 and 80% of the power supply. To achieve our renewable future, we need to deploy 3,000 gigawatts of wind and solar between 2020 and 2030. As such, it will be important to stabilize the grid. Renewable energy sources are often inconsistent. The sun doesn't always shine and the wind isn't always blowing. Therefore, it's crucial to have an effective solution for storing renewable energy so it can be accessed on demand. We talk a lot about wind and solar, but in fact, there's geothermal, there's biomass, there's the water energy, hydropower and marine energy, and we need to maximize the use of those technologies so that we're not over-relying on any one. I think technology is not the problem. It is about creating the right policy and regulatory frameworks that will allow to basically attract the investment. The race to energy transition is a relay. Oil will pass the baton uh, to gas for something uh, between 20 to 30 years, and then gas uh, will itself pass the baton to renewables energy. The renewable revolution has truly begun, but continued investment and development of new renewable energy solutions will be key if we are to achieve a decarbonized future. To support the sector's growth, many governments and energy providers are looking to the new frontier of offshore wind. Offshore wind speeds are typically faster, stronger and more consistent than on land. Floating offshore wind based on floating structures rather than fixed structures offer even greater energy generation opportunities by allowing the deployment of turbines in deeper offshore areas with higher wind potential. Total Energy is invested in several landmark floating and fixed bottom wind projects across the globe. There are two main axes for Total Energy to become a major actor in the offshore wind industry. The first one is to increase our portfolio. Uh, there is actually a project that we are currently developing, uh, which is called the Sea Green Project in UK, that will provide the uh, electricity uh, for one million uh, homes in Scotland. And the second axis is to develop the uh, technology know-how. Uh, if you master the technology, you become credible towards your competitors. Total Energies has a great experience from, uh, from oil and gas. We know what's critical to maintain uh, the integrity of the floaters in uh, very harsh uh, marine conditions. As part of its ambition to become a world-class player in the energy transition, Total Energies has also been investing in solar power for over a decade and continues to design, finance, build and operate solar power plants across the globe. 
In solar, Total Energies has developed in several years uh, projects in, uh, in several countries. For instance, in the USA, where we have acquired a portfolio of uh, more than four gigawatts solar projects. In the Middle East, we are building a big uh, solar plant in Qatar. But we have also announced multi-energy projects, such as in uh, Iraq, where we develop a 1.2 gigawatts uh, solar plant together with uh, gas facilities. While we develop more and more offshore wind projects, solar uh, power generation is, is still at the core of uh, Total Energy strategy. Myth. Consumers can only produce their own energy supply by installing home renewable solutions. In fact, communities are starting to come together to set up their own solar and wind farms. These renewable energy cooperatives are providing local people with a source of stable income and reliable low-cost green electricity. What's nice about wind and solar in particular is you can do other things on the land. I see farmers farming around wind turbines and now we have agro-photovoltaics where you can have animals or grow crops under the solar panels. All of a sudden we're being smarter on how we use our land. Renewable energy sources can also work alongside and support other sectors such as farming. Agri-photovoltaic systems allow the simultaneous use of land for both solar power generation and agriculture. They reduce competition for land and provide additional income for farmers whilst also increasing the share of renewables in the energy mix. One company providing such a solution is Nextasun. Nextasun structures enable bifacial PV modules to face east and west, leading to a peak in energy generation mid-morning and in the evening. Row spacing of at least eight meters allows for side-by-side -side agriculture and energy production. The problem of regular PV plants is uh, that they use a lot of land, uh, which is no longer available for agriculture. For example, in Germany we currently have about 60 gigawatts of capacity for PV, and uh, we need something like 600 kilowatts. So this is a huge challenge, and uh, with agrovoltaics we can do it without using too much land. Due to the vertical installation, of the modules don't prevent uh, rain or sunlight uh, from hitting the ground where the plants should grow. We have this great partnership with Total Energy to explore the French market. Our goal is to install hundreds of megawatts in the next few years. Total Energies has developed two pilot projects with Next to Sun to produce green electricity while studying the influence of the structures on crops. Total Energies has also partnered with farming unions in France to develop renewable energy solutions. This includes the production of biofuels, biomethane and renewable electricity. It's clear that a future predominantly powered by renewables will require a collective global effort, continued innovation, investment and incentives to implement renewable energy systems will be crucial if we are to reach a net zero future. To find out more, visit roadstocarbonneutral.com. Roads to Carbon Neutral presented by Total Energies.